All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So I was asked to do a little uh, graphics tutorial video, a little bit, you know, what I use, how I use it, etc., how I got it. Um, so that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to try to keep it like five minutes, ten minutes tops, and just fire through this as quickly as humanly possible. So um, before I run through the mods that I use, the first thing that I use is a reshade. Now, if you really want the game to look how my game looks, you will need reshade um, because I use one. If you don't want to, you don't feel like downloading stuff off the internet, or you're just not comfortable doing a reshade, that's fine. But it is really, really easy, and it just does make your game look a lot better. Um, so in my opinion, it's worth. So I'll try and run you through it really quick. Uh, so reshade, just hit download. Um, as of the time of recording, um, reshade is 5.0.2. You just hit download reshade, save, let it download. Completed. <laughs> so once you've downloaded it, it'll ask you which game you want to install it for. So you can install Reshade for any game whatsoever. Rome 2 is already here, like the gamer application. If it's not, just go to Browse and find your Rome 2 executable file. Hit Next. Now, so the API that Rome 2 uses is DirectX 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so all these are different, but it all comes under one umbrella. So just hit this one. And then hit next. So you won't get this because I already have um, re reshade installed. So it says modify or uninstall. You will have install or uninstall. So just hit install and then hit next. Now all of these <coughs> are different options and it downloads certain different things. And um, for me, I would say reshades are quite fun and you can do a lot of different things with them. So I would literally click every single one and just download them all. Um, you don't need them all, and you will probably never touch half of these in your lifetime. Um, but it allows you to do a lot of cool things that you'll maybe never ever do. Maybe you'll try some. You really like some. So just download them all. It just gives you more options. That's all it is. And then hit next. And all this is is it shows you what's going to be installing. Then just hit next again. And next again. And just downloads. Next. So it's just downloading all the separate files for all the ones that we checked. Um, now, if you just want to download the ones that Immersaholic has, um, you can do that. Is I followed his uh, reshades um, pretty much to the letter. I did one or two things different, but uh, that is just personal preference. But hit next. Just do it for all. That's fine. Don't hit become a Patreon unless you want to support them. In which case, become a Patreon. But then, literally just hit finish, guys. So the next thing that you're going to need, once this is this, you can get rid of this, is come to a Mercaholics resh Reshade Preset Room 2 Edition. And just type it in, copy it, whatever. I'll put a link down below as well. You can have a little look. Um, but scroll down here until you find installation. And then go to the third one. Download my preset. It's just his Google Drive. So just click that. Continue to external site. Download. <clears throat> and just download it to your download folder. That's fine. And that's completed. It's really quick. It's just an any file. So now we can get rid of these two. And we're on desktop. So go to downloads. Find the Immersaholic reshade. That's fine. And then what you want to do is open up Steam. And go to Room 2. Properties, and then go to Local Files, and then Browse. Okay. And it should bring up this folder for you here. And then, literally, all you need to do is move Immersaholic over here. Now, if you don't see it, you can copy-paste it, you can cut it, paste it, whatever you want. Paste. I already have these files because I downloaded it before. Um, so I don't need to do that. So I already have a Mercaholic there. It's right here, as you can see. So get rid of that and get rid of that. Now I will show you how to continue with the reshade once we get into um, into room two. But before that, I'm going to show you guys my mods and I'm going to show you the load order that I currently have um, for room two. So starting from the bottom, I have blank trade lines, blank borders. 
HD cities, all city types, uh, works with all campaigns, and DEI. Then I have four of the AAA generals. I believe there's six or seven. Um, so I have the Rise of the Republic one, the Roman one, the Punics, and the Greeks. Um, Aqueducts DEI version. Please make sure it's a DEI version, guys. Otherwise, it will not work. Simple as that. Um, Orbis Aquarium and Orbis Terrarium 2. So Orbis Terrarium 2, the open beta, and Orbis Aquarium, the realistic water. Then I have Divide Atom Pair Gladiator Recruitment. This is easy to find. This is just a, one of the official submods for DEI. Um, I would highly recommend having a look at their submod collection. It's really good. Uh, DEI Graphics Enhancement mod I have next. Then I have DEI Parts 3, 2, and 1. Or if we're going in descending order, 1, 2, and 3. Um, the reason I have these here is I think every single one of these mods requires a, to be loaded above DEI base game. So what I have after that is better clients. Then I have DEI cultural UI overhaul. This is still in beta, but it's working and it's also save game compatible working. So just in case you're interested, you can download that. It just makes the UI pretty. It has individual UIs for a lot of different uh, races. Then DEI 1.3 War and Peace. Again, this is a flavor mod. It's up to you if you use it. I use it. I like what it does. Uh, divide and pair uniforms. And then divide and pair no public order garrison negativity. So I like this sub mod because I hate the base game um, punishing you for leaving your armies in, in cities. I know why they do it. I understand why they do it. I just don't like it personally. So I use this. Um, Roman ex Models Extravaganza 1.0.9. I use that. And the di Divide and Pair Roman Extravaganza, the fixed version. Uh, please make sure it's a fixed version, guys. There's a couple of bugs with the other one and it hasn't been updated. So this is my mod list and in order. So we'll hit play. And I will catch you guys in the Room 2 screen in a minute. All right, guys, welcome. Now, um, if you've installed Divide Out and Pair correctly, you should have this home screen. Not this specific one. As long as it says Divide Out and Pair, you should be good. As if you come down here to the bottom right, you can actually change, which most people know exist, I hope. Um, but yeah, I select this one. Now, um, before I get into actual graphic settings, I'm going to go do the reshade part of this. Um, so, to get your reshade up, just hit home. And it will bring up this menu for you. Now, you won't have these ticked straight away. And the reason you won't have these ticked is because you haven't selected a Mercerholics reshade. So, quite simply, just hit this little uh, bar here, blue bar here, and find it. It'll be in here. So, that I have a couple of reshade uh, any files already. Um, but you will find a Mercerholics reshade if you've downloaded it and installed it. And you'll find it here. And then just select that one. And it'll come up with these options. Now, I'm pretty sure Immersaholic um, has a couple more options that I unticked. I can't remember what they were off the top of my head. I think one of them was Vignette. Now, um, Vignette adds the, like, a little 45 degree section almost. It, like, just darkens to give, like, a cinematic effect. Um, I don't like it. I take it off. Um, but, really quickly, guys, you'll have all these options. 80% of them, absolutely useless. You'll probably never touch them. But, if you want to have a go, you can. If you want to see what something does, click it. So, for instance, Technicolor. Click it, see what it does. Play around, guys. This is what reshades are for. It's all about adjusting the game, tailoring the game to how you want it to play. How you want it to look. Um, so, just do what you want. A lot of these have descriptions. Some of them don't. Um, so if you don't really know what something does and it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a description, maybe Google it before you click it. But none of these are going to ruin your game or anything like that, guys. They're just options for you to use. But yeah, so HDR, Vibrance, ADOF, Curves, Tint, Levels, and Lumer Sharpen are all what I use. None of them have been tweaked from the base Immersaholic Reshade Pack. They are all the same quantities. So say, for example, so you click HDR... You come down to this part here, this um, allows you to change how the HDR looks. I haven't touched any of that, it's all the same. So don't worry about it guys. And that's how you do it, and to get rid of the menu, you can just hit home. Simple as that. 
really quickly one thing i would do guys is come over to settings um where is it yeah here so overlay key you can change it to whatever you want um but the toggle key um, I would advise that you use this so you can see what your game looks like before and after. So mine is numpad plus. So if I hit home and then I hit numpad plus, that's what you get. And then you can turn it back again. Like so. Now, for graphics. Um, I have a 1440p screen, so I clearly use 2560 by 1440. Um, please use native resolution. If you're running a 1080p monitor and you're trying to upscale, don't, don't. Just don't. Um, be a lot easier. So this is what I run. So anti-aliasing is times eight. Um, I probably don't need to run AA at times eight simply because I'm on 1440p, which already softens out those pixels anyway. Um, I just prefer to have it at times eight. Personal taste. Texture quality ultra. Um, unless you are literally running this game on a potato, guys, and I mean a potato, bump that texture quality up. It doesn't cost too much. Um, the only thing you really need to worry out uh, worry about is um, video memory. When it comes to textures um that's about the only thing you need to worry about as for fps you won't notice much between low and ultra shadows low um number one reason this isn't a first person shooter game i don't particularly care about shadows i don't notice shadows that much in a game like this um and b they are some of the most demanding and taxing things that your gpu has to process shadows are really 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 demanding um so if you're ever struggling for FPS, or you just want more FPS, bomb shadows down, and I guarantee you, you won't notice any difference whatsoever, apart from the fact that you just gained yourself 15 extra FPS. Um, water, I leave on high. One of the main reasons being, even though I have a mod that specifically changes how the water looks, um, every single battle map in Rome 2 has water underneath it, which is being rendered. So, turn water to high. You'll see a lot more FPS, trust um, sky on low. Two reasons. Number one, taxing. Number two, I never look at the sky. So, don't care. Trees. This is a very personal taste one. Um, you could probably have this on high if you're running something similar to what I am, like a 3070, 3080. You could probably have it on high. It, you'll get about 5% difference FPS wise. This is all personal taste. If you want the trees to look a bit better, bump it up. If you don't care, bump it down. Um, grass for me though I leave on ultra um, I find grass on anything other than high slash ultra looks just terrible um, like like lego terrible so that's why I leave that on ultra depth of field never use this anybody who ever uses this effect is should go see a psychiatrist straight away um, turn that off particle effects for me very high um, high and very high don't notice much difference ultra looks a little better um, but not for the FPS. Medium is when you start noticing that things start looking terrible. But again, if you need FPS, turn it down. Um, terrain, Ultra. A couple of reasons. Number one, you spend 90% of the game staring at the terrain. Turn it up. You look at it a lot. Number two, um, I like it. I like how it looks. Um, and that's what these are for, guys. A lot of people go into graphics settings and think, oh, I need to be running what everybody else is running. I've got a 30, uh, 30 90... And then I need to crank everything up. No, no, you don't. Just tailor the game to how you want it to look. And um, building details, I have on Ultra again. A couple of reasons. Again, number two, I like to do siege battles. Um, and there's a lot of work that goes into them. There's a lot of work that's, that people have put into making these buildings look good. Um, so I like it when they look good. Um, cost you a little bit of FPS, but worth it in my opinion. Uh, unit details, Ultra. Um, this is the one that I just wouldn't compromise on. Just do not compromise on unit detail unless again potato in which case you have to um but the main reason being di has added god how much like over a thousand models and um, plus you've got the roman uniforms mod plus roman uh, extravaganza just the amount of time and effort people put into the, the unit details 100 percent, i want to see that all the time i want to see that um and let's be honest cool looking units are why we play this game so <laughs> Why wouldn't you have it on Ultra? Now, this is one that's going to divide a couple of people. Uh, unit size. For me, I like Ultra. Um, I don't like large. I think the unit number is a little weird, a little wonky. Um, and I will never touch anything other than Ultra. But if you guys are really struggling for FPS, bump it down. 
Uh, texture filtering, just whack it up to 16 times, guys. Again, unless you are literally running a computer that's being peddled by three mice to power it, then just crank it up. You'll be fine. Uh, shader model, 5. Make sure it's on 5, guys. I think Orbis requires it to be on 5. Don't quote me. But I'm pretty sure if you run some of the mods that I have with anything other than Shader Model 5, you're going to run into some artifacts and some weird stuff. I know I had some problems back in the day. Um, V-Sync off. I have a G-Sync monitor. No need. Distortion effects. This is one that is hit and miss for a lot of people. Sometimes I love how the heat shimmer looks. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't think it's worth uh, the FPS, so I leave it off. SSAO. Now this is one, guys, that I think you can probably turn off and not notice any difference. For me, I have it on. It's a setting that I like, and it doesn't cost too much. Um, cloud shadows. I have this unticked, main reason being my shadows are on low, and my sky is on low. <laughs> so why would I have cloud shadows on? Uh, next one, sun rays. I have that on. I like how it looks. It's a good look. Um, so I, I leave that on. Film grain. Turn this off. Never ever have this on. Well, I don't know why anybody would run this, unless you're insane. Uh, vignette, again, that's the same effect that we can show in um, in Reshade. Have one or the other on. If you're going to run Vignette, I know some people really like it. Either run it in-game or run it in Reshade. Up to yourself. Um, I have Blood Effects on. I have Fade Units on, which is basically just when you zoom close in the units, it will fade them out. Um, now... Big one up next, guys. If you are struggling, if you're getting chop, it's very laggy. Um, turn this on. Hide dead bodies. It it literally clears up so much space for your GPU to render. It, it's unreal. Um, hide dead bodies is a big one. I leave it on because I play DEI for immersion, and I find after a massive battle, if there's no bodies on the ground, it kind of lacks immersion. So I leave it, um, even though it's taxing. I just leave it. Um, hide foliage, self-explanatory. Lightning, I never fight in the rain, so no point in having it on. Um, and I th think... I think that's us. Um, yeah, I think I ran through everything. Now, really quickly, guys, if you guys have any questions about mods, um, about reshade presets, if you need any help, anything, just let me know down below. If you let me know down below in the comments, I can try and help you guys out as soon as possible. Um, but apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the little video, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.